The storm that has been started by chat GPT doesn't seem to stop. Everyone has a different version of how they want to use chat GPT. A lot of you have rightly pointed out that the solutions that I created in my previous videos regarding chat GPT are facing some issues. In today's video, I'll show you how you can create chat GPT based chatbot using OpenAI's module, which will hopefully not fail. When I say hopefully, it all depends if you have the right secret key. So without wasting any further time, let me now show you how you can create your own amazing chatbot, which is like ChatGPT, the mini version of ChatGPT using OpenAI's API. So without wasting any further time, let me kickstart the discussion by installation. In this particular demo, I required two basic libraries that is OpenAI and Gradio. I'll basically create a chatbot on Gradio, which is where I require Gradio and I need OpenAI for the entire OpenAI's ChatGPT version. So, so let me quickly run the cell. The installation is done. The next thing that I have to do is import the necessary modules. Since I've installed two modules, which is OpenAI and Gradio, I'll import them. So I'll quickly run the cell. Now, if you want to run this entire activity without any glitches, you require an API key specifically given by OpenAI. So the way you can get your API key is through this particular URL. I've basically kept the cell hidden and I'll execute the cell, but all you have to do is create an account on OpenAI's site and go to this particular URL and get your API key. So I'll quickly run the cell. Now the next thing that I've done is I've created a function called as openai underscore chat, wherein I pass an input, which is the prompt and I call the openai.completion.create function, which will help me complete whatever question I'm asking. So think of it as more of a conversation agent, which I'm kind of accessing directly through openai. So there is no chat GPT interface that a lot of people have created solutions around chat GPT's website. Uh, a lot of people have reverse engineered the chat GPT API, but rather than doing all of that, I wanted to create a mini version of chat GPT based chatbot, which is where I'm using openai.completion.create. I am specifying the engine. I take in the input prompt. I specify max number of tokens, n equal to one and temperature equal to 0.5. This is something that I specify. Now, once I have the completion output with me from the OpenAI's API, the next thing that I do is I extract the text value, which is present in the first choice. Uh, so completions would basically be a list. I'll extract the choices value. I'll extract the first item of the list, which is present in choices and I'll extract the text. If there are any starting spaces or ending spaces, I'll basically use strip to remove all the spaces that are there, the unwanted spaces in my output. And that is something that I'll return through this particular function. So I'll quickly go forward and run this cell. In this piece of code, what I'm basically doing is I'm creating an interface function uh, wherein I can kind of create a chatbot like interface on Gradio. Uh, I am accepting an input and I'm accepting one more input, which is history, which is initially empty. I call the OpenAI chat function and pass in the input, store that output in a variable called as output and I keep appending the history and I keep returning that history. That is all that this function does. It's basically a simple function that takes the output, keeps appending the input with output and keeps sharing that across. Okay. All of this will kind of make sense once you see the interface. So I'll quickly run this cell as well. And finally, here is where I create an interface. So I have GR dot interface wherein I call the function chatbot. Inputs are my text and state. State will kind of have the state of your entire chat and your output is again chatbot comma state and I call the dot launch function debug equal to true and I have written this multiple times. So I'll kind of remove this and now I'll quickly run the cell. So my interface is up and running. So I'll quickly start with basic questions. What is Python? 
Python is a high level interpreted general purpose programming language. When was C++ invented? And here is the next question. When was C++ invented? C++ was invented in 1979 and all the details that follow after that. Who invented Java? So here is so here is the answer. Who won the men's cricket world cup in 1996? So here it says Sri Lanka, which is correct. If I change it to 1983, it should give me an answer that is India. So yeah, I mean, it's a mini chat GPT interface that you've kind of created. You don't have to wait for a long time to actually get access to chat GPT. If your use case is to create a chatbot as simple as this, then I would highly encourage you to use this particular open AI service. So this is something that I wanted to share with all of you so that you can kind of create more and more applications using chat GPT. I hope you found this video informative. If you do like the content that I post on my channel, it would be super motivating if you can press the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to be notified for amazing videos on data science and machine learning. Thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you.